Okay, everybody, so this video is about how to use Google Calendar to schedule uh, meetings in a global distributed team. So, for those of you who know the research on research team, you know, this is basically what we do on a daily basis. You know, we're always scheduling meetings uh, with people uh, in different continents and countries. So, I just wanted to show a, a few techniques for this. So, to start, of course, everything is going to be based on uh, Google Calendar. So, the first principle is everybody should have a Gmail account, everybody should have their calendar uh, up to date on Google Calendar. So, the simplest way of doing this, well, I don't know if it's the simplest, but you know, one of the ways of doing this is to start selecting calendars for the people you're trying to schedule your meeting for. So, you know, initially here, you know, all I have is my calendar. My calendar is in blue. And uh, now I'm going to start overlapping my calendar with the calendar from the team, uh, who's in India. Uh, then let's go a few other people here. Let's see, Clarissa from uh, Brazil. And I'm, I'm going to put Clarissa in another color so that she can be differentiated. So pink. Then Etienne, who's in Africa. Uh, let's see who else. Uh, well, that you know that should be okay. Well, as you can see here, you know this is pretty challenging. You know it would be nearly impossible uh, to schedule this, you know, just by email because you know everybody's pretty busy. Uh, but when you overlap all of these calendars, all of a sudden, you know, you can see the spots where people would be free for me. So, for example, on Thursday at uh, 3 p.m., you know, all three of us, you know, we would be available for me. So, what I would do here is just to say, um, I'm going to call this one, please ignore. So, just that they don't do it. Uh, they, they don't, uh, you know, they ignore this. Uh, then I would say edit event details. Uh, I'm going to say this meeting is going to happen over Skype. Uh, here I would put a description of what we're going to be doing in the meeting. So blah, blah, blah. And here I would put the emails, Gmails of each one of them. So first Jatin, then Etienne, and then Larissa. Okay. So all of them are now added here in this section. And then finally, you know, what I also want to do is to click on this button saying modify event. Now this is extremely important because if for any reason, you know, one of them forgot to mention uh, that they are actually busy at that time, they can move the meeting to another place. Now I'm going to say save. Usually, I will send them an invitation. Uh, in this case, because it's a fake meeting, um, you know, I'm not sending anything. So I'm, I'm not sending an email. And I can say, you know, don't send. So basically, this is the meeting. And as, as you can see here, you know, my meeting shows up in blue. Uh, the meeting from Jatin, uh, here's Clarissa. Uh, the meeting from Jatin shows up in uh, green, uh, Clarissa in pink, and Etienne in I don't know what this is. Brown, maybe. Uh, yellow. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but then, you know, there's one more problem. So, Etienne is in Cameroon, uh, which is, I believe, six hours later than the East, uh, East Coast. Clarice is in Brazil, which right now is one hour uh, later. And Etienne is in India, which is, I believe, nine and a half hours. Now, I know these countries and the, 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 the time zones. Because, you know, I, I, I work with them all the time. But, you know, it's easy to see that this would be pretty challenging uh, to figure what time this would be in one of the countries, especially when we have, you know, this is a simple meeting. We only have four people. But very often, you know, we have meetings with, you know, six people from six or seven different countries at the same time. So now I'm going to show you a few other tricks of how to improve this. Uh, you know, making sure that, you know, you're not scheduling meetings at impossible uh, times. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the Labs button for uh, Calendar. And then I'm going to activate, uh, actually, let me just say something. If your uh, Labs is not activated, just go to uh, Settings and Calendar Settings. 
and then there's an option there activating uh, labs okay now when I do this with labs it's going to show me a lot of different things that I can choose for, uh, uh, to facilitate my uh, schedule and I'm going to choose two you know as you can see you know I have a bunch of them chosen to with my own one on one with or whatever but I'm going to choose for the global scheduling the smart scheduler as well as the world clock let me save this so now uh, you know as you can see on the right side here I have two additional uh, uh, buttons so the first one you know shows me uh, world clocks I already had this, so you know I have uh, the times here for the people I meet the most with. So like uh, Hong Kong, Singapore, uh, you know Russia, Greece, uh, you know different places, Italy. Um, but what's really neat about this is that if I click on my meeting here, all of a sudden you know this, uh, and it says here you know my meeting is uh, at a, a 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, time and this is the, the Eastern time but then it shows me what time 3 p.m. is going to be in different countries so for example for Jatin even though it's free on his calendar it's actually you know 12 30 a.m. so you know I would have to check with him whether he wants to uh, do a meeting at this time we have a, a bunch of uh, night owls in our group so a lot of people meet uh, really uh, uh, late, but you know that could not be good for him. In Brazil, so São Paulo, uh, you know, for Clarissa it would be 4 p.m. Uh, for what's the time zone for for Africa here? So it's the same time zone that we have for Rome. That's why I didn't uh, 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 do it. So it would be at 9 p.m. But you know, I could go ahead and uh, basically do settings. And uh, you know, include a city. I don't know if we're gonna have a city from Cameroon, uh, but you know, I could include a city that uh, um, matches uh, Cameroon. So that's one way of doing this. Now, the other way of doing this would be if I want to reschedule this meeting, uh, and oh, sorry, if I want to reschedule this meeting, what I can do is I can select the meeting here and then I can click on uh, find new time this is the smart schedule, uh, res uh, rescheduler and now what it's saying is you know all the different possible times of course you know there's not a lot of times uh, but where we could potentially uh, you know uh, schedule this meeting and here on the left side I can see well this meeting has to last for one hour uh, it has to, you know, the earliest day so, latest day so, uh, earliest time is 9 to 6, but this, you know, would have problems for different uh, time zones. So for Clarissa, for the team. Uh, and then I can, you know, start looking at different times here until I find one uh, that does not have a conflict for anybody. Um, of course, you know, probably here I would have to change the time because, you know, this is probably uh, too early for for the team. Um, but uh, basically, this is what it is. Now, if I look at the possible conflict, um, then, you know, it's going to show me the calendar for each one of these people. So for Etienne, Clarissa, myself, and the team. Uh, because I'm going to be traveling uh, for these next three weeks, I guess this is the reason why it's not showing. Yeah, I'm only back in October. Anyway, so I, you know, I would go back and maybe do something like October. Okay, so whenever I do October, then it looks good for everybody. And then if I want to schedule that, I would say you know October 11 is a good time then I would just schedule for that time. Uh, so basically, you know, these are the main, uh, 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 this is the main idea for the, the scheduling for global meetings. Uh, the point I want to emphasize again is that 
trying to do this without a scheduler, without these tools, would be extremely challenging. So again, the only thing you have to do is to have Google Calendar and to ask that other people in your team uh, keep their calendars up to date. Okay, thank you.